Hi guys, today's NumPy interview question is that calculate the sine and cos value for the numbers that are given in the NumPy array. So essentially, we have a NumPy array which has the angles given and for those corresponding angles, we need to calculate the sine and cos values. So how do we do it? Let's see. So first I'll import my NumPy module. So I'll say import NumPy as NP. And then I need to create an array. I call it as my underscore AWR. And I'll say NP dot array. And I'll put some angles like 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90. Right? So if I run this and uh, in order to calculate the sine value, it's very simple. All we require is to do NP dot sign. And then if you just put your my array inside of it and press enter, you'll see that it will give the sine value for these angles given over here. But if you could see clearly, if I just go to the my trigonometric formula, I can clearly see the sine 30 is zero and sine sorry, sine zero is zero and sine 30 is one by two and sine 90 is one. But if you could see over here, the 30, sine 30 is not giving me 0 0.5 and sine 90 is not giving me one. The reason is this NP dot sine functionality anticipates the angles to come in a radian form. So basically we want this to be in degrees, but this sine functionality of this NumPy module accepts the angles in radian form. So if you want these angles to be put in degrees over here in your sine functionality, you require to change these angles into radians first, and then we can get the proper value of sine. So how do we change the angles to radian? So for changing the angles to the radian, all we require is take your my array and then you simply multiply it with pi by 180. So whenever we multiply any degree with pi by 180, it gives the radian value to it. So if I say multiplied np dot pi divided by 180 and uh, let me just store the resultant in new underscore ARR, run it, right? Now, if I apply NP dot sign, and if I put my new array inside of it, you'll see the sign zero is basically zero. Sign 30 is one by two, that is 0 0.5 and so on. Sign 90 is one and we got a value of one over here as well. So this is one of the ways in which we can calculate the sign value or the cost value similarly. If you want, you can say NP dot cos and inside of it, you can put your new array and you can see if I go back, so cos zero degrees one and we got one over here and uh, cos 60 is one by two. And this, if you see this, this is nothing but five cross 10 to the power minus one. That is essentially 0 0.5. And uh, if you see this, 6.12 cross 10 raised to the power minus 17. So it's quite a long, no, so it, it tends towards zero itself. So we can say this to be a zero term. And we could see that cos 90 is zero as well. So this is how with the help of angles, we can calculate its corresponding sine or cos value. Okay, thank you.